Queen Karen Laurie Mendoza from Iliilo City. Growing up, I clearly remembered swimming in the islands of Concepcion with the other kids. And from there, it even taught me how to fish. And with this, I appreciate strength and hard work at an early age. I am a Bini Bini because the blood of a Filipino runs through me. I am bold but dignified. I am a warrior and I carry the culture and the beauty of the Philippine Islands. 13. For me, I wouldn't change a thing about myself because from uh, my experiences and for what God has given me, I am me and I love who I am because of it. Hi, I'm Binibini36, Vicky Marie Rushton from Negros Occidental. My hometown is known as the land of sweet of surprises, not only because of the sugar cane field and the sugar supply and our colorful festivals, but also because of the sweet and affectionate people. Our dialect is Hiligaynon, and if there's one word that I want you all to remember, especially if you're feeling down, and if you feel like giving up, remember this word, padayon. Padayon lang. I believe that if women will rule the world, it will be a world full of kindness and love. I believe because women are gentle and a simple act of kindness can create a ripple effect. Hi, I am your Beanie Beanie number 23, Gabriel Bashano from Burangan City, Eastern Samoa. I started my journey in the pageant circuit at a young age to help my parents pay for my tuition. I grew up joining different collegiate and provincial pageants. I learned a lot of lessons from them, and I know that I can use those lessons here in my journey in Beanie Beanie. If I would be an animal one day, I would choose to be a dog. First, because it is my mother's favorite pet. And second is, it's the man's best friend. Thank you. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Bini Bini for Patricia Mariah Garcia from the city of Manila. Being a city of extreme contrast, Manila can be chaotic and spiritual, dirty and divine, gritty and gorgeous all at once. If you don't find beauty in here, you will never find it anywhere. Kilometer zero, ang bagong tabula rush. A starting point of all sorts lies at the very heart of Manila. Manila as currently poised may very well be the catalyst, the start of change of our country to the great nation it is destined to be. If I were to choose a superpower between teleporting and leaving minds, I think I would choose to be able to leave minds because it will actually improve communication, especially between two persons. Because if you are able to understand or read the mind of another person, it will allow you to to understand what he's really um what what he's really meaning. So I would choose to read minds then. Vini Vini 21, Hannah Constantino Arnold from Masbate. My greatest achievement in life was recently becoming a professional model because I have now become very independent. I have so many blessings from these projects that I am now able to provide for my relatives, travel around the Philippines, and most importantly, I am now able to build a library in Barangay Minyo, Masbate. I am a Bini Bini because I have a heart as golden as a crown and I wear a sash of responsibility and compassion across my heart. Between 20 million cash or the Bini Bini Filipinas title, of course I would choose the title because from this I will be able to do even more projects and hopefully get more sponsors that will be willing to give more money, not for me, but to my charities and advocacies. Hani Cartasano from the beautiful province of Rizal. Growing up in the mountainous province of Rizal, I used to play taguan, patintero, tumbang preso, and I love playing in the rain with my muddy clothes and feet with my friends. My life growing up was simple. That is why I never imagined myself being in this position. But indeed, life is full of surprises. From an ordinary girl living a simple life, I am now your Bini Bini 29, aiming for greatness. Fourteen. <laughs> that you'll be able to inspire and, to, and reach more people with your story. Thank you. Cinderella Faye Benyera from Cagayan de Oro City, Misamis Oriental. I feel I am destined to be on the Bini Bini Filipina stage, not only for the glitz and glamour, but most importantly, for its influence in making Filipino women relevant in today's modern world. I am a Bini Bini because I embody the ideals of a global Filipino who is resilient in all adversities and proud of my brown skin heritage. I always fear living a life without meaning. That's why I always choose to be a Bini Bini by mind and by heart. Oh, 15. The five most beautiful things in my hometown would be adventure tourism, faith tourism, if you're looking for 
looking for pleasure and business and if you're looking for kind people it's all there so what are you waiting for come visit Cagayan de Oro and come visit my province Misamis Oriental explore Miss Or Binibini13, Samantha Bernardo from Puerto Princesa, Palawan. I am an island girl and I grew up in a simple home. We don't have big malls or fancy places to go to, but I had the best relationship with nature. I remember every Sunday, we always go by the beach and at night, we always attend the mass as a family day. Now that I'm old, I realize that it's very important to me. I cherish all the relationships that I have and most importantly, I live each day with a great sense of hope. Fourteen. Yes, there is one from Bible, and that is Psalm 31, 25. She is clothed with strength and dignity and laughs without fear of future. I feel like I always do everything what I can do in my life to live without any regrets and hopefully inspire others to do the same. Hi, I'm Beanie Beating 11, Maureen Montang from Batangas. Growing up, I was sobrang mahiyain, just a quiet wallflower. And it wasn't until I started dancing and getting involved in community sports that I really found my voice and a part of my identity. I was able to get out of my shell and interact with my peers. And from that point on, I started modeling. And when I got on stage, I learned that I do have a voice and it's loud. Lucky number 11. I think the world would be a better place if we could read each other's thoughts because there would be absolute transparency. Even when talking to your mom, I couldn't lie to her about cleaning my room or finishing my homework. I'd have to do it. So I think being able to read each other's minds would really help with communication. From world leaders to mother-daughter relationships, I think the world would be a much more clear place. 